Welcome to our devotions for the day. I'm Pastor David Shub at Trinity Lutheran Church in West Bend, and I'm thankful to be with you again. Today we read from the book of Philippians, where Paul writes, But our citizenship is in heaven, and it is from there that we are expecting a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will transform the body of our humiliation so that it may be conformed to the body of his glory by the power that also enables him to make all things subject to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm in the Lord in this way, my beloved. Stand firm. Those are interesting words. I don't know about you, but I have some difficulty sometimes standing firm, continuing on in what I know what I'm supposed in the things I know I'm supposed to do. Uh, I know I'm supposed to get a lot of exercise for my diabetes, and since we've been in um, social distancing, I have done more exercise, but every day I have to tell myself, yes, you have to do this, and there's something inside of me that just doesn't really want to. Um, I found myself not washing my hands quite as much as I did at the beginning of all this, and I have to keep reminding myself of how important that is. I think for people in general, standing firm, sticking to things that are important are difficult for us. We get tired. We get frustrated. We don't want to do that anymore. Um, I went to Walmart on Saturday and was surprised that there were so few people wearing masks just about a week before. There were a lot of people when I went to the store who were wearing masks. Somehow the, the caution, the vigilance seemed to be slipping away. Distancing was not being observed as strenuously anymore. People were getting out of the habits that have been so important over the last several weeks. Now, Paul's not talking here about standing firm in those things necessarily, but standing firm in Jesus Christ our Lord, staying close, continuing to serve Christ fully. And I think that that does apply to what we're struggling through right now in a certain way, because though we'll be opening things up for the sake of people's works and the needs of the larger society, we need to continue to stand firm in our love that has called us to care for our neighbors and look out for the well-being of other people. We forget that many of the things that we're called to do in this time period aren't necessarily just about us, but it's about caring for other people. The work is not done. And so it should be every day of our lives, even once we get past all of this, we're called to stand firm in Christ, stand firm in following Christ, stand firm in caring, not just doing that which is convenient or easy for us. We need to call, we need to follow all those ways of living as God's people and showing others how to love and standing firm in all of that. Anne Stortz offers a powerful vision in her little poem called Perseverance. She writes, When all the world is looming dark and things seem not so clear, when shadows seem to hover round, Lord, may I persevere. When it seems everything's been tried and there is no way to go, just let me keep remembering sometimes the journey's slow. I may just need to stop and rest along the path I trod, a time to try to understand and have my talk with God. As I gain new strength to carry on without a doubt or fear, somehow I know things will be right. And so... I persevere. So I invite you to struggle with me to stand firm. Stand firm in our love of God. Stand firm in that the love for others that that love calls us to. Stand firm in caring for others as we move into a new phase of what this whole situation has called us to. Stand firm. Let us pray. As we move forward toward new ways of living post-COVID-19, help us to stand firm in loving our neighbors and doing that which serves the good of all, just as you came to serve and gave your life for all. Amen. Well, I continue to wish you the best through these days. Um, continue to take care of yourself, stay safe, take care of your neighbors, and let us all stand firm in sharing the love of God. Have a wonderful day.